nuclear fusion is when two nuclei combine to form a new element by gaining protons. Fusion occurs with light elements fusing into heavier elements. This produces massive energy, mostly in the form of heat. This is the opposite of fission, which splits a heavy atom into lighter ones. With fusion, the most common elements used are deuterium and tritium, both of which are isotopes of hydrogen. When they are fused, they form to create helium and also release an extra neutron. Nuclear fusion. This is the reaction between the raw materials deuterium and tritium. The fusion of these two hydrogen isotopes produces the largest amount of energy compared to all other conceivable reactions between light atomic nuclei. The deuterium-tritium reaction takes place according to the following principle. The two atomic nuclei fuse to form a helium nucleus and additionally they set free a neutron. This causes a large amount of energy to be generated, which is contained within the high velocity of the escaping neutron. A chain reaction is basically impossible. The deuterium-tritium reaction is fully controlled and can be ended at any time should this be necessary. This is the overwhelming safety advantage of nuclear fusion, along with the fact that its end products are not radioactive. Though the fusion is still only experimental, and is not expected to be readily available for the public power until 2035. But once it can be harnessed well, it will have so many advantages over fission. Unlike fission, the fusion process is controlled and can be stopped at any time if necessary. Fusion waste products are much less radioactive and are also easier to handle than that left over from fission. Fusion resources are virtually endless and as deuterium can be taken from almost any water source. Tritium, which is super heavy hydrogen, is a weak radioactive emitter with a relatively short half time of only around 12 years. For this reason, by far not enough natural tritium is available on Earth to suffice for fusion power plants, only about 2.5 to 3 kilograms worldwide. Tritium, therefore, must be produced artificially by bombarding lithium, the lightest alkali metal, with neutrons. As well as the desired tritium, the harmless noble gas helium is also produced here, as in the deuterium-tritium reaction. Thus, the actual raw materials for nuclear fusion are deuterium and lithium. Lithium is a readily available raw material that can be found, for example, in large quantities in natural rock everywhere on Earth. As a raw material, deuterium is just as easily obtained and can be extracted from normal water all over the world. Moreover, nuclear fusion is exceptionally lucrative. As little as 2 litres of water and 250 grams of rock are enough to cover a European family's demand for electrical energy for an entire year. first developed the theory of nuclear fusion in 1929. They concluded that the huge amounts of energy could be achieved by nuclear fusion through Einstein's famous equation E equals mc squared. From the 1950s onward, the US, Soviet Union, Britain, Europe and Japan have built reactors in an attempt to achieve controlled nuclear fusion. In 1939, Hans Beth developed a theory explaining nuclear fusion. He recognized that the fusion of hydrogen nuclei releases massive amounts of energy in heat, and he related this to the stars and said that it is fusion that accounts for the energy source in stars. In the early 1990s, nuclear fusion technology had advanced enough so to generate several megawatts of energy for a few minutes.
Using what is known as the tokamak principle, nuclear fusion can be put into practice on Earth. The Russian abbreviation tokamak stands for a toroidal chamber with magnetic coils. The tokamak was invented in the 1960s in Moscow. Even today, it remains the most successful strategy for using nuclear fusion to generate energy on a power plant scale. The gas mixture of deuterium and tritium is let into the toroidal vacuum chamber that simultaneously represents the secondary winding of a large transformer. Many millions of amperes of electrical current combined with the other heating methods turn the gas into a plasma with a temperature of 100 million degrees. Plasma is the mixture of free electrons and ionized atomic nuclei, which is just what is needed for the fusion of deuterium and tritium. Strong magnet coils create an invisible cage that prevents the plasma from coming into direct contact with the surrounding walls of the burn chamber. ITER, the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, is a new fusion facility currently being built in Cadarache in France. It is a joint project between the US, most of Europe, Japan, China, Russia and South Korea. It is intended to be an experimental process between current fusion practices and future fusion power plants. It is scheduled to begin operation in 2015. Its goal is to provide 10 times the amount of energy from a fusion reaction that has been achieved so far. Their shared goal is to harness the energy production mechanism used by the Sun and other stars for safe and controlled use on Earth and thus ensure that enough energy will still be available for future generations.